hey guys welcome back this is Ramesh from Java Guides in this video we are going to implement Spring Boot command line runner interface tutorial so Spring Boot's command line runner interface is used to run a code block only once in a application's lifetime or after application is initialized all right so command line runner is an interface used to indicate that a bin should run when it is contained within a Spring application a Spring Boot application can have multiple bins implementing command line runner interface. So these can be ordered with at order annotation. So basically we use command line runner interface to execute a block of code while application is initialized. So basically I have used application. So I have used a command line runner interface to insert a records into a database while application is initialized. Alright. So we can use command line runner interface in three ways. The first way is using command line runner interface as component, and second way is uh, implementing command line runner uh, interface in add Spring Boot application class, and third way is using command line runner interface as a bin. All right. So I'm gonna show you all these three ways to use a command line runner interface in Spring Boot application. All right. So let me create a Spring Boot application and let me show you these ways to use a command line runner interface and I also show you how to insert a records into a database while application is initialized using command line runner interface. Alright. So I am in Eclipse STS ID. I, uh, I will create a Spring Boot project now here. So, so just give a project name as Spring Boot command line runner all right tutorial and keep Marvin as it is packaging jar java version 8 language java and keep default as it is next and here uh, no need to pick any starter dependencies because we are just trying to uh, see the usage of command line runner interface hit finish so this will create a spring boot application so i'm going to create a class here and uh, i will implement command line runner interface and i'm going to show you the usage of it so let me give name as application startup for runner here hit finish and here i'm going to implement command line runner interface so this interface provides uh, some method to override here so i'm going to override and here what i will do i will just print some message here so i will say application startup runner called all right and just let me annotate this class with add component annotation so that this class will be automatically scanned during component scanning or a class path scanning all right great now let's go ahead and let's run the application right click run as java application and here we go so look at the output here application start startup runner is called all right so whenever application is initialized that that time this command line runner interface will be called and this method will be executed run method all right so this is the one way and the second way is uh, let me comment out this so the second way is just uh, this is the spring boot main class and this here we can just implement the command line runner interface and here we just override the run method and here i will just print the sys out here and here i will just print okay that's it and let me run this application run as our application and yeah here we go here is the output so look at here spring boot command line runner tutorial application called all right so this is the second way and the third way is uh, we can just uh, 
and comment this and I will remove add component annotation and I will make this class as a bin by using add bin annotation here so let me remove this code and I will make a bin here add bin annotation and here I will say let me create a bin of this class this is the method and let me return object of this all right so here we have created a bin okay now what we will do we'll just remove this code and just run the application okay it's pretty simple so this is the class which implements command line and interface and here we were added the run method and we just print this message here and uh, we have removed add component annotation and we can use add bin annotation to create a bin of this class so let's go ahead and let's run this spring boot application yeah look at here the I know the output is printed on a console so this means that uh, the command line interface is uh, I know properly working so these are the three ways we can use a command line runner interface in Spring Boot application okay it's pretty simple right now uh, I would like to show you the real case example so look at here uh, this is the project that I have created for my previous video tutorials so this is a Spring Boot uh, crude REST API example and here uh, in application class I have implemented a command line runner interface here and this is the run method so command line runner interface provides a run method and here I have inserted a few of the employee records into a database table okay at application when the application is uh, initialized that time this method is called and here I've just created a few employees and I have stored in a database so this is uh, the uh, usage of command line runner interface so whenever you have a block of code that needs to be executed while application initialized then you can just use a command line interface all right so this is all about command line interface and uh, yeah so if you have any doubts about this tutorial let me know in a comment please subscribe to our youtube channel to view more videos on java ecosystem click click the thumbs up to like our video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video